Ready? This is Blade Method Mindset, episode 53, with Claire Trainer and Chris Trainer. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is unprecedented times. Uh, we're also doing a recording of a video to our members. Um, but we wanted the podcast because not everybody has Facebook, and uh, we want to be able to email this out. Um, so everybody can get all the information of, of what's going on. As of about 2.30 today, uh, there was a mandatory shutdown of gyms, restaurants, um, pretty much all small businesses <laughs> um, got shut down. And uh, Claire and I were not planning on closing the gym simply because we know how important it is and how necessary it is for our community. Um, you know, when I'm hugging someone in the middle of their workout this afternoon, she's breaking down crying because she knows how much she needs the gym for her for her mental health and everything, it's uh, it's heartbreaking. Um, so that's what this video is about. That's what this podcast is about. And uh, we've already received an overwhelming amount of support from our members. Um, you know, people uh, sending text messages that they're going to keep their membership going no matter what. Um, people uh, just reaching out, praying for us, being there for us. And it's more than we could ever imagine in the, in the couple of hours since this announcement has come. Um, and at the same time, we want to be able to reciprocate that love and that availability and that promise that we've made um, out to our members. And that's what we're going to do. So um, Claire has been working all afternoon uh, really hard on a plan. She's got uh, spreadsheets of, of what we're going to do. And, and we're going to finish out the week kind of, kind of with what we've been going and we'll explain that. And then we'll get into uh, the following week, um, maybe with some more stuff, depending on what the outlook is looking like with this. Um, uh, you got anything to add to that, babe? Okay. Claire, Claire's not most, the most excited about being on the podcast right now, but um, you know, once, once we get going, rolling with the plan, we'll get going. Carlin wants to be on. Um, all right, guys. So... Uh, you know, what we're, what we're going to do right now, just to keep this as short as possible and to get the information out that we need to get out, um, is that tomorrow morning on Wednesday, we will not be open for business because of, from what we understand right now, if we did open for business and operate our business, we'd be arrested. <laughs> we'd be shut down. Um, there would be repercussions if for some reason that was found out. And for Blaze to be Blade to be at home in two weeks for when this is all over, um, we need we don't want to risk any of that right now. So Wednesday morning, Blade will be closed for business um, because we're being told that that's what we have to do. Um, now that being said, there is a workout in Wattify that was already programmed. Um, for tomorrow, there's a, there was a class one and there was a, uh, one for people to do at home. And that's what we're going to keep going and doing. I'm going to post a video that I made at the gym tonight about how that's going to work. And then Thursday and Friday, we're going to continue with our home workouts. And guys, this is, this, this could be changing by the day, by the hour, just like our entire lives have. I think everybody and Claire and I aren't, uh, naive to think that this is only happening to our business. We know that our entire community is being um, thrown upside down. You know, we have uh, tons of um, business owners that um, are being affected by this. And so uh, we are very aware of that. And we are also very aware of uh, how much Blade means to those uh, business owners. So um, Thursday, we'll have our workout. Friday, we'll have our workout. Saturday, we'll do something. And we'll see about getting out into the parks. We'll see about um, our equipment rental, which Claire is going to talk about here in a second. And we're going to keep this going because, guys, we are the ones that are in, not in jeopardy of being hurt by this virus because we are healthy, because we eat healthy. And if for some reason, um, you know, we got off track during this time in this two weeks and developed habits that would lead us down into a, a lifestyle where we would be in jeopardy of receiving something like this in the future. And just walking around knowing that you can, you can walk around and even if you get the virus, you're probably going to be okay. Now, barring if you have an autoimmune disorder, um, you know, that is out of your hands, but Anything you've chosen to do lifestyle-wise by eating healthy, training five, six days a week, knowing that, hey, if I get sick, I'm probably going to be just fine. 
rather than getting out of their routine, losing this next two weeks, spiraling into a lifetime of unhealthy habits. And now next time a virus comes around, you're walking around out there and you're susceptible. You have to remain inside. You can't go outside. You're living in fear because you're compromised because your body is so inflamed and it's fighting off so many other different things that it can't have time to be fighting a virus as well. But knowing that, hey, you're pure, your body is, is clean and you're gonna be just fine is great peace of mind that comes with that. So um, let's get down to it. Uh, what, what the plan is starting tomorrow, babe, if you wanna take that. Uh, for the equipment checkout. So we're gonna check out um, our dumbbells, kettlebells. We're gonna check out boxes, rowers, and ab mats and jump ropes and bikes. So bikes. Gonna... I thought we weren't doing bikes and rollers. Are we doing bikes and rollers? Okay. And bikes and rollers. Um. So with that, we're gonna have a spreadsheet, and it's gonna be a nine a.m. and a five p.m. Uh, checkout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it tonight, and this is gonna be for active members only. You guys will be able to check out one piece of equipment at a time. So um, if you want a rower, you can get a rower. If you want a dumbbell, you can get a dumbbell. Um, but because we just need to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to get some type of equipment, we're only going to allow one piece of equipment right now. If we have leftover, then we can always open it up. But right now, that's what we're going to start with. And um, we'll have you guys sign um, just a little equipment checkout form stating that you're going to maintain your um, good standing with your membership and that if anything happens to the equipment that you guys will be willing to um, replace it. And then this is just going to be until we reopen the doors again. If you guys need to change out the equipment, um, you're more than welcome to do that with other people. It just has to go through me so that I can make sure I keep track of what is going where. Now it is best because we don't have, you know, enough equipment for everybody to have, you know, dumbbells, kettlebells, rowers, bikes, and such, that if you have a group of people that you like to work out with it, or maybe you're married and it's a husband and wife crew, then maybe you guys um, work out together and you can share equipment, obviously keep things clean and just like we are at the gym, um, you can, that's probably the best way to get the most out of the equipment checkout. So we'll do that tomorrow. Um, and the workouts um, will be able to be adjusted um, based on the equipment that you do have. So that's something that next week we will probably get a little bit more detailed about um, checking in with you guys to see what equipment you have and a little more personalization so you can utilize um, whatever you've checked out. And that's the thing is the personalization. So the, for the remainder of the week, there will be a body weight only option and there will be a uh, equipment option. So if you're using, my big thing is I want someone to get a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Mm -hmm. That's what I want you to have. You get one dumbbell, one kettlebell, then we can do anything. You know, um, is, is, you know, if you have a jump rope, that's even better. Jump rope, kettlebell, dumbbell in your body, we can get fit. So that's the main thing that I really want people focusing on. You know, the rowers, the bikes, I, I, if you can run, I would rather, uh, you leave the rowers and bikes for people that maybe can't run, right. but um, you know, that would be, uh, you know, some people just aren't able to do it. So if you are able to run, you can do that. And that's always an option. So, um, getting back to, uh, the programs that we were talking about individualized, that's going to be stuff that we're going to roll out probably, um, next week as far as, um, getting more in depth with our coaching and stuff like that. But as of right now, it's seven o'clock on a, on a Tuesday night and, we just got hit with this news. We just want to get as much information out as, as possible. And Carlin, it's Carlin's bedtime, as you can hear. Um, we got to get her to bed. So uh, once again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys for the overwhelming support so far. Um, it, it really does mean the world. We're going to continue Wattify going. You guys are going to be able to enter your scores for your body weight workout, your weightlifting workout. Um, weightlifting meaning dumbbell or kettlebell. Um, and, and we're going to keep that going. And obviously, we'll be here for support. So if you guys need to text us, message us, call us, we are your community still. And we can be that shoulder to cry on, to talk to. Um, obviously, you know, we're not in person right now, but we can do as much as we can with what we have available. 
and no one chose chose this and as absurd as I think that this is um, it's not on me and there's nothing I can do about it uh, there's nothing Claire can do about it all can we can do is have faith that the situation is gonna get better that we'll be back in our home um, within two weeks and we really won't skip a beat it'll be like just a long vacation where you're doing body weight workouts anyways um, but guys again we 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 won't be open if if everyone leaves, right? <laughs> you know, so um, we still, the banks aren't closed and we still have those obligations. So uh, we want to do as much to provide for you guys as possible. Um, and at the same time, um, appreciate you guys sticking with us. So uh, it's late. I don't want to uh, spend too much more time on this, but we wanted to get this information out to you. Is there anything I missed, babe, that you need to talk about? Um, just that, you know, like, obviously we want to make sure that we're taking care of our members. Like that's our most important thing. Um, but for us as well, you know, we've got an incredible staff and it's really important to us that we make sure that we can also provide for them because they are the people that you come in contact with every day and they help change lives. So, um, you know, we, we want to do that for our coaches and, um, for you guys to make sure that we continue to provide um, for your health and your fitness and your financial and whatever else we can do for you guys. Exactly. I think that I was trying to hide that information that one of the scariest thing is not being able to provide a, a job for someone that you're, you're responsible for providing a living for them. And that's kind of what we're going to be brainstorming over the weekend and trying to figure out what we can do um, to keep everybody employed and going uh, next week. So love you guys. We're blade strong. Um, we came from a thousand square feet to where we are now. And some of you have been with us the whole time. Some of you have been with us just a few months, but that however long you've been with us, um, you're important to Claire and I, and you're important to our hearts. And uh, we truly care about your health and well being, giving you the best possible chance of living your best life. So. Um, oh, I do have one other thing. Oh, sweet. Um, this is, we are, we will take new people because there's a lot of people right now that are gymless and they don't have um, a place to have a community and work out and get fit. And a lot of people might be scared to join, you know, CrossFit. It seems intimidating. This actually is a really good opportunity. Um, if your friends are interested to throw down with you and start with a little bit, um, the body weight stuff and maybe no weights. And um, so, you know, that's always an option in the future if this extends kind of longer than this two week period. That's so. not going to happen. Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, guys, that's a wrap. Appreciate you listening, watching the video. Um, we'll be here with uh, whatever you need, post away on questions. And again, thank you.